Rail Clone Color is able to randomize and tint bitmaps to provide nearly limitless color variations. One of the most useful options that gives you a lot of control when you want to randomly tint an object is to use a fixed selection of specific colors by picking them from a map. To do this, just turn on tint mapping and set a range for the random strength of the tint effect. If you'd rather use a fixed value, just make sure the minimum and maximum values are identical. Then turn on Get Color From Map and apply a bitmap to the map slot. Rail Clone will sample the color from a randomly selected pixel. This means that you can control the probability of a color being selected by controlling how many pixels it occupies in the source map. For example, with a map that looks like this, there's an equal probability of selecting a white, red, green or blue color. But with a map that looks like this, there's a 50% chance of picking a white color, a 25% chance of a red color, and a 12.5% chance of green or blue. So with your desired map selected, the last thing you need to do is choose a transfer mode. In this example, we want the tint color to overwrite the base color, so we'll pick normal. Hit render and that's it. Randomly tinting geometry based on pixels selected from a map is a great way to precisely control randomizing colors. And it works really well for instances like this where you have a fixed number of colored swatches or even for matching a color palette based on a photograph.